Thank you, Sarah. Good afternoon, everybody. My name is Devin Pearson. I'm the Director of Business Development here with Brain Cell Technologies. I am uh, joined again by Zoya and Taylor. Zoya and Taylor, are you both here? Yes, hello. Hello. Hello, yes. Nice to meet everyone. Great. Thanks for joining, y'all. Um, everybody, I, I'm a huge marketing automation fan. I love marketing automation in general. I love business technology in general. And I am super excited about today's event because these two platforms are two of my favorites. They are both, I'd say, in the bleeding edge of technology as, as we speak going into to 2019. And they are both super unique. So I am just thrilled to show everybody a side-by-side -side view of both these platforms. We're going to start with a little bit about us. Uh, we're BrainCell. We've been around for 25 years, founded by Jim Ward, still very much involved in the company today. And our passion, the reason why we do what we do, is helping our clients determine best fit technology based on their individual unique business processes. So we're committed to really understand what success, what your goals are, and what your company is trying to do and trying to grow to. And then through that, going through business process and going through technology choices. Sorry, I want to kick it over to the next slide here. Awesome. So we're going to do a feature overview of HubSpot and Sales Fusion. Uh, so would you like to, um, I guess, Zoya, do you want to go first and kind of walk through some of the HubSpot features that you see on this list and talk a little bit about, a little bit about them, and then we'll go into, uh, into Taylor? Sure. Uh, Having some technical, okay, looks like we fixed that. Um, so yes, HubSpot is an all-in-one platform that allows you to combine all of your marketing, sales, and service uh, tools under one roof. So we have things that help you better understand and get to know your customers and nurture them to or better understand your leads and nurture them to become customers. So between your lead scoring, being able to segment your lists and do some targeted email marketing, um, understanding all the activities that your customers and leads are engaging with, even when you're not paying attention, when they're just on your website or looking at your emails, and how we can basically uh, nurture them specifically to what they're interested in buying, what they're interested in learning more about your company with different things like A-B testing and, and social media reporting to get that full picture of the start uh, from the start to the end of a customer life cycle. Very cool. Thank you so much. And uh, Taylor, please tell us a little bit more about Sales Fusion before we get into some actual live demos here. Yeah, perfect. So um, just to give you a you know, background around Sales Fusion, as you can see, we are that all-in-one marketing automation solution. Um, we have a platform that is designed to be highly intuitive with the campaign builders, um, advanced automations, and superior reporting. So within that, you're able to um, really utilize all the features that our pl platform offers through lead scoring, through lead segmentation, um, we're able to integrate natively uh, to a number of CRMs, uh, actually seven, um, and it's a native integration. So that's a big deal for, for us here at Sales Fusion and our integration. Um, we're really built um, to really help understand your client engagement, improve conversions, and drive more revenue. Um, so that's kind of a, a high-level pitch of, of Sales Fusion. Awesome. So like I said in the beginning, the, the, these two platforms are very, very similar everyone you know so that's why we like to do these side by sides because based on unique business processes we can uh, we can we can take a look at what solution is best complementary so you want to continue on to the next cool so we're going to do some demos live live demos i uh we we flipped a coin and we're gonna uh, we're gonna have zoya kick things off and we're going to cover six areas that we constantly hear questions around marketing automation so creating a landing page creating an email a form an automated program, social capabilities, and reporting. So with that, um, Zoya, why don't we go ahead and give you control of the, of the slides here, and please uh, dive right in. Thanks, Devin. Um, and I actually have a, a colleague of mine. She is a product expert that's going to be walking us through a few of these features, so I'm going to pass it over to Gabby for this part. Hi everyone, my name is Gabby. As I mentioned, I am one of the product experts here at HubSpot. And so for today's demo, I want to start on the contact record because we consider this as the brain of HubSpot. And this allows everything else that I'm going to show to be more powerful. 
So here we have a contact record. It includes all the information you will have and collect about a contact, but it also tracks the activity of said contact, which you can see right here. So now I'm getting contacts into HubSpot. Obviously, you're going to do that through forms, but you can create. The forms that you can create in HubSpot are both um, allowed to add to both internal and external pages. The forms that you're going to create are done through a drag and drop design. You have the ability to also include what we call hidden fields, which allows you to automate the process of creating these contacts. Here we are setting the lifecycle stage as needed automatically when someone creates or when someone submits a form. You also have the opportunity to add progressive fields, which is going to replace any previously captured information so that you can continue being more efficient as you get to know these um, contacts, customers, visitors. So with forms created in HubSpot, you can add them to landing pages that you will create, again, via a drag and drop design and make it very human friendly. Any cr pages created within the HubSpot are also automatically optimized for mobile, and you have the opportunity to be change views here. HubSpot is also very keen on supporting their customers throughout their use of the tool. And so you'll have um, some optimization tips appear right on the side with some helpful tips on what you can do to better optimize your page. So going back to looking at a desktop, right here, you're going to you know, add different sections. And for any customer that, uh, new customers within HubSpot, you have, we offer a service to create templates based on the, for free, based on the look and feel of your already existing website so that you can get to marketing faster. So here I've added, you know, a form to this landing page. But we want to also make it so that you have the opportunity, again, to be more efficient in nurturing these customers, finding them. So you have the opportunity to what we call make a form smart or make it a smart form where based on different, you know, information on this contact, you can change the form that is visible to them. If it's someone in a different particular country, or if this person is already in MQL, you can say, I want them to see this form. Right within HubSpot, you can update any information that you need, URL, meta description, as well as have the opportunity to publish or schedule publish date for this page right within here. Now, for any contacts that you do create within HubSpot, we know that you want to be able to email and market to them. You have two options of creating emails, either within, again, a drag and drop design, or through this classic email editor, where you can get right down to the plain text HTML. Again, you see you have the ability to optimize that email right within app. And I want to show here, again, that smart content, that personalization content that I mentioned on the form, on the um, landing pages, you have the ability to add that here and make a marketing email feel like a one-to-one -one experience. We just actually had a great question come in about um, embedding forms. Can you embed that form outside of a landing page? So for example, on a, on a website? Yeah, definitely. Um, if it's going to be a HubSpot hosted page, you can do that right within app, which you kind of saw here with the landing page. You have an, a module that shows up, or you'll get the embed code that you can add to a non-HubSpot hosted page. And yes, it can be any page, website, blog, landing page. Yeah. And awesome. another thing to note about the forms tool is that it is available at the free level. So anyone within HubSpot, depending on whatever subscription they have, have access to forms. That's great, thank you. Um, so going back to email, you've created your email and now you wanna market, you want to be able to continue that lead nurturing process. And so within HubSpot, we have an automation tool called Workflows, where you can set the enrollment trigger that someone will be added to this workflow. And then, you know, kind of choose your own journey. You can decide whether they're going to receive an email after they've you know, completed that enrollment trigger. Maybe you want to send someone on your team a task. Maybe you wanted to create, uh, you wanted to update a particular contact property. You also have the opportunity to create logic branches that will allow you to say, if someone has 
you know, completed a certain activity, I want them to receive this set of actions, or I want them to go down a different path. It allows you again to customize as well as automate that process, saving your team time. Also, take a notice here, um, HubSpot's open API allows us to you know, play with everyone. And you'll see um, you can add integrations as part of that workflow. In this case, we have Salesforce present. You can say, you know, if any action is completed, whatever it is, I want to now set a task in, uh, in Salesforce. And our integrations are continuously growing. And, you know, coming down the pipeline, we'll be able to add more integration tasks within workflows, which is really exciting for a lot of our customers. Because HubSpot is also very uh, data driven, you're going to be able to see the performance of that workflow right within the tool making you be more efficient and optimize your process, whatever that you know, road takes. So you know, we talked about forms and landing pages and emails, and you know, well, another important thing for marketers is social. And HubSpot being an all-in-one platform, we are allowing you, you can manage your social accounts right from the app. You have the opportunity to create and schedule social posts for any of your accounts include images, as well as have access to any of the content that you have posted within HubSpot. You could do that right here. Also have the opportunity to monitor any of your activity from your networks, break it down by network, create streams that allows you to see the information that you want, and you have access to reports and analytics right within the tool. Going a little and, deeper. Sorry, sorry. Not, not to interrupt one more time, but um, what social channels does HubSpot integrate to? We integrate with Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Perfect. Thank you. Now, going a little bit deeper into reports, as I said, HubSpot is data driven. And so you have two ways to view analytics. One is within your dashboard, which you can create dashboards for different teams or users, as well as customize their dashboard based on information that you want to see and is going to be most important to that team or person. Sorry. <clears throat> yeah. Here's just a look at some of the different reports that we already have. My computer would cooperate. <laughs> that we already have pre-created within HubSpot. So you have the ability to add any of these reports to your dashboard. And actually, as of December 1st, what used to be the reporting add-on is now included in um, Marketing Pro and Up. So we have really expanded the ability and capability of some of these reporting, um, uh, such as doing cross-object reporting and some really uh, great additional dashboards as well. So that's something that's now been rolled in as of last week. Yeah. Um, so you have this dashboard, which is that one sort of sheet that gives you a nice easily digestible uh, look at any of you know some of your analytics we also have it drilled down even more um, through analytics based on like traffic to your website and what really makes the reporting and hubs out powerful at this level is that you're able to see how some of your sources are driving the you know creation of contacts and even down to customers because as I said with that you know the brain of HubSpot being the contact record you're able to have it all be connected and be able to drill down and see exactly who from you know paid search has became a customer and then takes you right back to that contact record where you can start that process all over again and continue attracting customers or visitors that are going to be good fit customers for your business. Great. That's great. Thank you so much. And there is um, one other question about the reporting. Can you schedule those reports to be sent off to users if they, if they don't have a dashboard? Yeah, definitely. You can create a recurring email and you can decide, I want it to be a monthly report email. It can get drilled down and, you know, add in specific users and teams, even customize the email that gets sent to them, as well as the file type. And you can do it you know, by time and even within a certain range, date range. Brilliant. 
And one of the other things that I just wanted to call out, um, and Gabby mentioned that, you know, we are integrating with a lot of apps and we actually have hundreds of integrations uh, with all sorts of apps that are continuously building on HubSpot. And one of the recent in, uh, announcements that we made, I'm sure you guys have heard about it, is that we've partnered with Vidyard. So you've actually, you're actually able to implement what we're seeing here with forms, what we're seeing here with smart content, what we're seeing on the landing pages, and combine all that with some of your video marketing and be able to embed your videos on your landing pages and embed forms and CTAs directly into those videos and to get some of this in-depth reporting down to the video level to see how engaged your traffic actually is with the content that you're creating. Excellent. Great, perfect. Thank you so much, uh, Gabby and Zoya, for presenting HubSpot to us. Um, if you want to stop the share, we might, uh, I guess, flip the screen right over to Taylor and let's take a look at Sales Fusion. And Taylor, we're going to um, give you an opportunity to answer those same questions. So when the time is right, I'll, I'll poke those into your to your uh, presentation here. Yeah, perfect. Sounds sounds like a plan. Um, can you can you see my screen fine? We sure can. All right, great. Well, uh, let's get started. So thanks everyone for joining today. Um, really wanted to do is walk through some key areas of our platform. Uh, like I said, Sales Fusion is that all-in-one marketing solution. Uh, built to help understand your engagement, improve conversion, and drive more revenue. So with that, I'll walk you through different areas of the platform. And keep in mind, we don't tier on any functionality or features. So within Sales Fusion, the first thing you see when you would log in is your global dashboard. It's really just some high-level analytics of all your marketing and sales activities you have going on. So different you know, form completions, your marketing qualified accounts, uh, event management, you can track all that uh, right here inside of, of this global dashboard. Um, all this data is drillable, so at any point you can click in, get, sp get specific information that you want. Unique clicks, unique opens, you can preview the email at any point. Um, but with that being said, um, what I can do is jump right into our email builder. Um, so within Sales Fusion, uh, we designed all of our builders to be as user-friendly as possible. So they're all um, mobile responsive, they're all drag and drop functionality, and it gives you the ability to um, preview that at any point. So, for example, clicking our little eye logo, that allows you to see what the email looks like on a desktop, as well as a mobile device. It's also designed to be very easy when it comes to navigation. So as you can see, you can hover over certain areas. If you want to add a row, I can easily add columns. Very easy to do. You have a word pad, you can type as much or as little information as you'd like by clicking in. Very easy uh, ability to type right in there. You also have the ability to click specific links. Um, on the left hand side is where you can add the global styles. Um, so you can change the font, the background color, uh, give it that look and feel of your brand, your company. You also have the ability um, to see this revision history button. It's basically an audit trail of that email when you're building it out. So it gives you a step-by-step, -step, almost an undo button. If you need to make a mis if you made a mistake, you can correct it and see where you left off. Really nice feature that clients like within this um, builder is the ability to even incorporate buttons. And the nice thing is you can easily type in the words um, that you want. You can add URL links, but we've also designed the navigation to be very easy. You can even embed your published landing pages by dropping down and dropping that link directly into this email. So you don't have to jump in and out of different areas of the platform um, to really navigate and, and incorporate the right, right information that you want. And then of course, I said it's you know, drag and drop, so you can easily drag over specific components. You have the ability to drag in images. Again, you don't have to leave the platform. You can jump in and out. Uh, you don't have to jump in and out. Um, of the platform, we have an asset library that's tied to the platform. So I can easily go right in, drop in my image, and now I have my image you know, to, to the email here. Once the image is complete, you can easily send a test email to your team. One really nice feature that Sales Fusion offers, and it's no add-on or additional cost, is our advanced testing feature. And what that does is give you a rendering of what your email is going to look like on about 60 different devices, but it's also going to run a spam diagnostic test. Um, to ensure that you know this email is not potentially going to fall into a spam trap. So obviously we want you to your emails to hit inboxes. So that's where we've been been successful there. Um, from there, I wanted to jump into our form and landing page builder. So 
Um, the really nice thing um, with the form builder is, again, it's all drag and drop functionality. So on the left hand side, you have the actual template that I pulled in. And you can rearrange these in the order you like. It's really easy to drag uh, and drop. Um, on top of that, you can red red have red asterisks to make sure these are mandatory questions. On the right hand side are the different form fields that you can drag right over. So if you wanted to drag a recapture button over, you easily can do that. And maybe you don't like that. I want to trash it. It goes right back to where you started. Um, with Sales Fusion, we have a native integration with seven of the leading CRMs out there. So really nice piece with this is we can map over those CRM fields. So for example, if I want to map over email fields, I can, bear, I can type in a few letters and it's going to pull all my fields that I have in CRM. Makes it really easy for you to drop in the email field, hit apply, and now this form is mapped directly to the email inside of, uh, inside of CRM. So with that, after you have all the fields, this is where you can design the form. Um, really easy to do, as you can see, you can add background style, border, align the boxes. But the really powerful area with Sales Fusion is the ability to add different rules and actions. So for example, if I want to pull the fields, I can do, you know, interest, let's just say, can, is equal to ask about our pricing. I can easily hit add, and you can add an action to occur. And the really nice thing, again, with our integration is not only can you create tasks and opportunities, that's going to push directly to the CRM. So you don't have to manually worry about adding that, that information. You can also add to nurtures or to list. You can send uh, alerts to the owner of that record. We can even trigger out an email to go out based on that form completion. And um, you know, once that's complete, you can easily publish this form. It produces a simple piece of tracking or script that you can copy and paste and put on your website. So it doesn't have to be embedded directly into a landing page if you didn't want, want to. Um, any, uh, any questions so far that I can answer or any questions? Uh, no, you've, you've actually been ticking them off as, as they come in, so, so please continue. Awesome. Um, with that, I'll jump into our landing page builder. So this is our drag and drop landing page builder, just like our form, just like our email builder. It's all mobile responsive, so at any point, you can preview what it looks like on a desktop, as well as a mobile device. Um, really easy to, to set that up. If I can, you can have hidden fields as well, so it's going to adjust what it would look like on a mobile, mobile field. Um, to go back, you can easily uh, go right in, and you have the ability um, to really drag and drop and navigate throughout you want. So, for example, the logo here, you know what? I don't like that logo. I can easily trash that. Well, you know what? I have an image asset library. I can easily drag this right, right into this form. If my computer will let me. Um, sorry about that. So here we go. We have the ability to drag uh, items over. Um, and I, was, I had a brain cell logo I was going to drop in there, but for some reason, I don't know if it's uh, lagging a little bit. Um, but on the left-hand side, as you can see, are the different options you can pull down. You have the ability to do, um, you know, uh, the ability to add text blocks, images. You can embed videos. Um, and again, the nice thing is when you publish this link, it's going to produce a simple link that's configured by our team where it's never going to say anything, Sales Fusion landing page. We're going to configure that link to look exactly like your company, um, and then you can have a, uh, you could track all your um, you know your your ad ads. We're able to set Favicon images, so everything's going to look like it's a page part of part of your company, your brand. And are you able to then template that that uh, landing page? So if you're done with all your branding and you're done with creating your creating your template, can you then save it to go back and save as and save over? Absolutely. Yep. Everything's going to be saved in the system. You have the ability to go in. Um, you can make any edits. You can use that as a template. Um, we've designed it to be very easy when it comes to, to actually, you know, using that, that and referencing that, that landing page again. Perfect. Okay. Um, so from there, the next thing I wanted to touch on was our nurture builder uh, before I dive into the analytics. Um, so Sales Fusion, um, not only do you have the ability to you know, create those mass campaigns, we also have the ability to create workflows based on a prospect's action. So 
So this is based on someone downloading a form off your website. So they built out a sales fusion form, someone filled that out. Um, and then we, we asked, okay, once they filled out that form, we triggered an email to automatically go out. Well, then we wanted to take it a step further. Did the prospect click the link within three days? Well, if the answer is yes, we automatically sent a hot lead alert to the owner of that record, and we also created a sales task follow-up. That task follow-up, you would be able to push to any of the CRMs that we integrate. So it's directly going you know, to the CRM. On top of that, say they didn't click the link within three days. The answer is no, then we automatically drop them into a long-term nurture campaign. So with the engaged individuals and prospects, you can strike while the iron's hot, but the less engaged, they're still getting you know, content. You're still staying in front of them. And the really nice piece, by right-clicking, the steps are really limitless. You can add email steps, you can add pause steps, you can add task or opportunity to the CRM. We can evaluate off logic and condition, even status change in the CRM. Um, and then you could even alert you know, an owner or maybe you want the whole marketing team to get notified. Um, so again, it's, it's really intuitive, but also you know, very easy to, to do when it comes step by step with these nurtures. Any, uh, any questions there I can answer? Uh, the we, we did have one one pop in. Um, it, it was about integrating, and it's it's not really about automated programs uh, necessarily, but it's about integrating with webinar platforms. And I, I also want to give that to uh, Zoya to answer as well. But uh, does Sales Fusion integrate with GoToMeeting or GoToWebinar? Yeah, great question. We actually integrate with uh, both Goto um, GoToMeeting and GoToWebinar and WebEx. WebEx, perfect. And um, and Zoya, uh, just while while this question is active uh, HubSpot as well yes we integrate with all those perfect thank you so much perfect so um, with that being said the next thing I wanted to touch on was our advanced analytics tool um, so sales fusion has a business intelligence tool that comes with our platform it's no add-on or additional cost um, really allows you to slice and dice all your marketing and sales data so not only is it going to be able to pull any data from Sales Fusion, we're also going to be able to pull in your uh, CRM data as well. Um, and the really nice thing with this is you can create as many views and dashboards as you would like, um, really to get the insight that you and different team members would like to see. So not only can you say, you know, create different um, rich visualization views, and, and what I've done here is, is create a bunch of different views to you to kind of see the differences. but it allows you to not only you know, see these landing page submissions by month, all this data is live. You can click in and see the data that you want to see. You can run reports on specific landing page completions. Maybe you're running a campaign to everyone in the state of California. Well, you can easily drill into this data. You can run a quick list, and now you can tie that list directly to a campaign. So not only is this data you know, rich in visualization, you can actually use this live data to be incorporated in your um, campaigns. We even have clients that utilize um, this advanced analytics tool to tie in sales data as well. So not only can you create different pipeline funnels, you can start creating ROI and getting metrics on your you know, campaigns and see how they're generating content. And the really nice thing, all this data is drillable. So for example, just to show you how easy it is to use, I can click explore from here. And this takes me to the view um, inside of the analytics tool. So you have the ability not only to drag and drop the appropriate information on the left-hand side over, you also have the ability to change the visualization view. Um, you have the ability to, um, you know, on the left-hand side, pick different fields. So if you wanted the lead source, um, if you wanted any fields that we map from the CRM, you can utilize that data to add and, um, and you know, submit. On top of that, you can change the filter. So if you needed to you know, have different logic, yes or no logic and or logic, uh, if you need to add any other filters, you absolutely can. And the really nice thing, I heard it come up, we do give you the ability to schedule these reports out um, to the appropriate team members as well. So you can have reoccurring uh, schedules. You have the ability to um, have different views. So if you want your VP of sales to log in and have a view of only sales data, you can even do that as well. Um, so very intuitive reporting tool. Um, and the last thing I want to wrap up with was our social tool. Um, so we do have a social tool tied to the platform. And I've already opened it up here for you. 
And what it allows you to do is a number of different things. Um, and I heard it come up as well, but we do support uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, Facebook, uh, as well as Instagram. And the really nice thing is you can schedule out different posts for the team to use. Not only can you um, post on behalf of your company, you also can post on behalf of the individual. So as you can see, this is the different calendar view. Um, you have the ability to create content, so it has a content curator. Um, so if you run out of any content ideas, it makes it really easy for you to type in an interest. Different articles are going to pop up. You can utilize that. You'll brand it in your way. On top of all this social data, you want to get analytics on this. So you can click in the analytics section, and this allows you to not only see you know, customer um, impressions, posts, clicks, conversions, um, you can see what engagement channels are the most active. So not only do you have the ability to see, oh, you know, LinkedIn is the most engaged, or what time of the day is the most active opens and clicks. You can uh, easily track that in here. What are the top engaging posts? So very high uh, analytic data you can create. Um, and then that is our, um, that is our, our social tool. Any, That's great. Any questions uh, to that? No questions on the social publishing. Uh, we did. I, I did want to go back to forms for a moment. Uh, can you embed a Sales Fusion form on a website, a uh, standalone from a landing page? Yes, absolutely. So really easy to do, and it'll take me uh, two seconds to do that. So I can I can show you. But yep, we absolutely can publish a simple piece of script, and I can go right in. You can even add redirect URL so it takes you to a you know a different page after that's complete. But once it's done, as you can see, it lights up green, you hit publish, and it produces a simple piece of code right there for you. You can copy and paste that, put that on any, any page you see fit. So really easy to do. Great. Awesome, Taylor. Thank you so much for showing us Sales Fusion. Yeah, no problem. Really appreciate the time. And um, uh, you know, anybody who would like to see a deep dive demo, feel free to reach out to us. We're happy to, to have a more customized uh, demo for you. Perfect. And we're going to... Absolutely, thank you. All right, so um, Sari, you have the you have the con here. Perfect. So we're going to talk a little bit about the uh, about the pricing and the package and the cost and and, and what goes into that. So um, we'll go back to Zoya first. Zoya, could you kick us off with um, just go over some high level pricing as far as HubSpot goes? Yeah. So uh, HubSpot has a have virtually no barriers to entry because anybody can get started on HubSpot for free. We have the free CRM and free tools for marketing, sales, and service just to get everybody started. And then when you're ready for um, a little bit more, so like our starter level is just for people doing email marketing. So for example, anybody on companies like MailChimp or um, Constant Contact, so that's just going to be your equivalent of just giving you some forms, a uh, little bit of segmentation, and email campaigns. It starts at 50 bucks a month. And then from there, you purchase contacts. It's scalable, so it comes with a thousand. And then, like the first nine thousand after that are twenty dollars. Then it goes down from there per thousand after your first uh, ten or twenty thousand. So it does actually get very cheap to scale on Starter. Uh, with professional, that's going to be your full marketing automation option. So anybody that needs that full automation with the workflows, uh, with A/B testing, with really being able to drill into uh, you know growing your business and doing some really intense marketing. It's going to be on the pro level, and again, um, it's fifty dollars per thousand contacts after the first one thousand. Enterprise is great for companies that have multiple domains, sister companies, oh, lots and lots of contacts. That's going to be, you know, the the bigger solution for larger marketing teams where you need more partitioning, need more permissions, uh, need some better insights. Uh, even comes with CMS memberships. There's a lot that goes in on the enterprise level. It did just get fully revamped at inbound in early September. And that one comes with 10,000 contacts and uh, $10 per additional thousand from there. And then all of these come with onboarding. So HubSpot really invests a lot of money in our support and in being able to make sure that anybody who signs on with HubSpot has 24-7 support no matter how they prefer it over the phone or uh, online or, you know, serve yourself through the, the knowledge base. So everybody that comes on to HubSpot gets onboarding with their uh, with their uh, contract. So it's a 90 day guide to client onboarding where we are really going to walk you through. You're going to be assigned an implementation specialist who works with you on making sure that you have everything set up over the course of those 90 days and that you are set up for success as you move forward. And then if ever you need it, you can buy additional consulting as well. 
Perfect. Thank you. And actually, one question I did have left over was um, the CRM systems that HubSpot integrates over to. Mm -hmm. Could you just list those off for us real quick? Yeah, so we integrate with most major CRMs. Uh, we have a uh, bi-directional integration with Salesforce, and then, of course, we have our own free CRM uh, that a lot of people prefer, but we do integrate with all the major CRMs out there. Perfect. Thank you so much. All right, uh, Taylor, please walk us through the pricing for some sales fusion. Sure, absolutely. So our pricing, we've tried to make it as simple as possible. So it's uh, there's no tier tier packages. So everything you see with Sales Fusion, you get. So it's a full feature set at $700 a month is our starting cost. As you grow um, your you know your database size, that's the only way your 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 price would increase. So you know the CRM integration, the advanced analytics tool, um, the the support, that's all included within our platform. Um, so we don't don't tier on that that different functionality or features. And then when it comes to the actual database size, um, you know blocks, it, you know as you grow, it goes in blocks of 10,000 contacts for an additional $100. Um, and then from there, we have a one-time onboarding cost, and that is uh, $2,500. And that includes the onboarding, um, the tech setup, the CRM sync and integration with that own client success coach. And that client success coach also gives you 12 one-on-one -on -one sessions um, with you and your company. So you can have as many employees as you would like on those training sessions. We record all of those sessions for you. And it's a very hands-on consultative approach where, you know, we give you, we, we use your live sales fusion environment. So you have the ability to not only get trained on the platform, but you're also going to be utilizing the platform. So therefore, when you graduate that onboarding and training, the platform's firing on all cylinders, you're ready to go. Um, and then you get unlimited phone and email support after that with a sales fusion employee. So pretty straightforward. I should add too, sorry, I just forgot to mention, we also have unlimited uh, support 24 seven other than this onboarding. Awesome. And then I will also mention that if you are a BrainSaw client, you also have a uh, assigned account manager that offers email and phone support as well on all of our platforms. All right. Um, Sarah, would you like to move forward here with, I think that we're on to questions, right? You know, we were pretty efficient today. Oh, okay. I'm sorry. I, uh, one just, Sarah just reminded me, um, Taylor, what CRM systems does Sales Fusion integrate over to natively? Yeah, great, great question. So we integrate natively um, to uh, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, Sugar CRM, N4, NetSuite, Sage, and Bullhorn. And it's a bi-directional sync. There's no third-party plug-in. Um, and it's all done by Sales Fusion employees here. So you don't have to rely on any consultant. Perfect. We also have an open API as well. So um, we do have some clients that use that RESTful API to maybe connect a, uh, to a CRM that we don't necessarily, you know, natively integrate with also. So, um, but, but those are the seven. And that API is also available over on HubSpot, correct? Yeah. That's correct. We have an open API. Okay, wonderful. So the, we were uh, efficient with these questions today. I, I tried to uh, pepper those in as, as they were uh, relevant. So we can uh, move right past this, Sarah, because we are caught up on questions. So uh, thank you all for joining and, and spending the time with us today. So I, I'd like to give some time back to you uh, in the form of a 30 minute consultation with myself. Uh, I am proficient in both platforms and several other marketing automation suites and would love to learn all about your specific needs as far as digital marketing strategy or best practices or optimization goes. So please reach out to me at that email below. Uh, you will likely get a call and an email from me anyways, just to check in and say hello. Uh, but if you are just starting the journey with marketing automation, or if you're on something like a MailChimp or a Constant Contact doing email marketing, and you're ready to take that next step, I'd love to, to, to hear about it and give you some pointers. Sarah, do you want to close things off for us? Yes, thank you, Devin. And thank you all for joining and participating today. Um, special thank you to Zoya and Taylor for presenting and sharing their expertise with us. Um, you both did a great job, and we really appreciate that. Um, as Devin mentioned, we will be following up with everyone in the next day or so to share the recording and answer any questions you may have. So with that, I hope you all have a great day and a great holiday season, um, and we will speak soon. Thanks, everyone. Have a great day. Thanks. Have a good, good day.
Bye. Thank you all.